Welcome along then to France, host of the world famous Tour de France. But we're not talking two wheels today, we're talking four in a country widely thought of as giving birth to the art of motor racing back in the late 1800s. We've come a long way since then and you're about to find out how far. It's time for the French Grand Prix. The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn eight. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Now, we probably ought to start by discussing Sebastian Vettel. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Ricardo, Norris, Max Verstappen and Perez. Leclerc, Sainz, Stroll, and Pierre Gasly. Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Esteban Ocon, and Raikkonen. Mick Schumacher, the owner driver. Sebastian Vettel, and George Russell. Schwartzman, Latifi, Mazepin, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. start to see a loss of power. Exit now. We're racing on the exit. Exit. Exit now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Imminent, rain is imminent, be careful out there. Okay, gap ahead is 3.5 seconds.
Robert is in the pits. Robert in the pits. Go, go, go. You'll be racing on the exit. Release, release. The track is clear. Green flag. OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? But well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to say Sebastian Vettel certainly caught my eye during today's race. Incredible driving. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one.